So it's like the Nevada right. state rules. Here we go. First round of five. Inside thigh kick from Yodson Clyde. 215 fights. 20 years old. Lumpini champion. Up against the S1 ISKA WKBA world champion. Yodson Clyde, a southpaw left handed fighter. Will that cause any problems for JW? Well, he's fought numerous southpaws in his time, Hammer. Well, JW having fought out of Thailand for many years. I'll tell you what, though. Yodson Clay is a very well-equipped fighter. And uh, JW is really going to have to be on his game for this one. Fresh off that victory over the Preacher on Evolution 6. Tip Go. kick to the real leg there from Par. Takes the lead leg out of contention as Yodson Clay swung for it. Round kick to the bicep area from Par. Oh, Jab overhand, elbow. Jump. Front kick from Yodson Clay. Catches the kicking leg. Couldn't get anything off though. Jump. Inside thigh kick from Yodson Clay. His hands are a little low. JW, if he can open it up over the top, may be the way to go. Racking with power in that left hand there, the rear hand of Yodson Clay. Just very composed, Yodson Clay. The build on him, Hammer. Jump. For a 70 kilo fighter, built like a little Mack truck. Wayne Parr leads him with the left, fires the right rib kick. Jumping round kick from Yodson Clay, looking for the big decapitator. Well, Yodson Clay obviously knows that uh, John Wayne Parr is very proficient in the boxing skills and the hand skills and uh, showed some good evasion of the, uh, the hand strikes. Just weaving, he's obviously been working on his bobbing and weaving and uh, his punch evasion. You got your back! Par edges forward. Oh, nice round kick from Yodson Clay. That is full of venom, that left leg of the tie. He loads it up 100%, but good, good composure. Nevertheless, good balance, Yodson Clay. Doesn't throw, uh, throw himself out of whack. Again, weaving the punches of John Wayne Parr. Par dangerously dropping his left hand. Yodson Clay found the jaw but didn't have the power to drop him. Well, he's going to have a lot of have to have a lot of power to drop uh, John Wayne Parr. Say so one of the, or the best uh, fighter in the country at the moment, JW. Oh, nice leg check, and then he fires off the same leg, JW. Uh, certainly stepping up, fighting uh, one of the best uh, out of Thailand, Yodson Clay. Will they lock onto the grapple for the first time? Flash of elbows in close there, nothing landing. End of the first round, an interesting one, Hammer. Full of confidence, Yodson Clay. Well, uh, Yodson Clay, a little bit uh, on the back foot, just having a look at Wayne Parr, working on his evasion. See uh, Parr with the guard up, nice high guard, but it was the left hand that got through. And that'll score well for the tie. He landed with a straight right as well. Quick, quick, out, out. Par just got uh, caught napping a little in the first, but nevertheless showed a lot of aggression going on the attack as well. Trying for the elbow strike with uh, Yodson Clay. You just see him slipping and weaving and being very evasive, this tie boxer. Here we go, round number two of five. The voice Michael Chavello, the hammer Mark Castanini, and Wayne Parr's opened up oh. strongly here. A lock yes, on the grapple yes, over in the blue yes. corner. Cameron Quinn yes. separates both men. Pa, forearm guard against the round kick. Fires out the front kick off the lead leg, does Yodson Clay. Pops out the jab, does the tie. Body shot from Wayne Pa, then goes upstairs. He's got to be careful not to drop the right hand. Yodson Clay is looking for that rear leg round kick around the back of the neck. Snaps in the jab there. Pa says, yep, you tagged me with that one. Oh, Wayne Pa, his guards are very open when he comes in, Hammer. But a bit tighter here. Front kick from Yodson Clay. It's almost like uh, Pa is just trying to find an opening on Yodson Clay, and it's just not coming. Just too cagey. Weaving backwards, but give John Wayne Parr an opening and he'll certainly uh, take full advantage of it. He needs to uh, get a little bit more forward explosive movement, Wayne Parr. 
perhaps uh, bail Jonson Clay up on the ropes and then uh, go hunting with the hands. Well, Jonson Clay's left hand dropping on that occasion. And Wayne Parr almost tagged him with the right. Pops the jab again up the centre corridor does Jonson Clay. Inside thigh kick from JW. Body shot from the tie. Nice jamming front kick there from Parr as well. He's got to employ that one a little bit more when the tie gets on the front foot and just uh, keep Yodson Clay at range. But then that uh, quickly counter. Nice uh, round kick. Come back from Wayne Parr, but he gets caught with the left hand. Jabs from Yodson Clay. Wayne Parr coming forward. Couldn't get a clean shot oh, at him, though. Well, cocky and Yodson Clay says, Is that all you've got, son? Well, you don't call on JW here on the Gold Coast. Inside thigh kick from Yodson Clay. And Cam Parr shake the hoodoo of last time he fought here in that decision. Oh, the big kibosh! The big kibosh! Hammer, what a shot! Wayne Parr has been dropped! Five, well, six, seven, 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 I'm sure how that works. I was about to say, Whoa. can Wayne Parr overcome the hoodoo of last time when he lost to Sackman Cole in this very ring? And Jonson Clay has absolutely opened up on him here. We're well, trying to take advantage now of the knockdown, Jonson Clay. Catch and counter. Wayne Parr keeping uh, Jonson Clay range with a push kick. He doesn't want to get sucked into a big bombing exchange. I'm absolutely in shock of uh, John Wayne Parr getting dropped there. Well, into the second round of action, a 10-8 round for Jodson Clay. Well, I'm um, stunned. Stunned uh, by that knockdown. Jodson Clay, perfect timing. And he's got that big left kick of his, Jodson Clay. There it is, right on the neck and the jaw. And, uh, oof, I am absolutely stunned. Here we go, third round of five. Yodson Clay in control. Tell you what, Michael, uh, this tie, Yodson Clay certainly lived up to the big reputation that uh, they've uh, touted he has. Lumpini champion, Lumpini Stadium, the biggest stadium in Thailand, one of the uh, most renowned, and that uh, he holds in, in Thailand. It's a slightly different structure. They have stadium champions, and uh, this uh, fighter is in his weight division, the Lumpini Stadium champion. Which is huge. It's like being the MCG champion. The biggest oh. venue of all. And Wayne Parr rattles out that right hand. He couldn't find it. Well, he's come back bombing John Wayne Parr with some good hand strikes. Checks the inside thigh. He does Yodson Clay. Well, perhaps that's a tactic that the JW can employ. Get out of kicking range. Don't get into a kicking wall with uh, Yodson Clay. Stay in and box him. Ah, can he find an opening with that right hand? Oh, tries to, leg and part, tries to capitalize on it. Beautiful uh, tactics from John Wayne Parr. Yodson Clay caught the kick and he went uh, bombing with the hands. Front kick from Parr. Nice high guard against the round kicks of Yodson Clay. Certainly better stuff here from John Wayne Parr. He is the aggressor in this round and so he needs to be after that knockdown in the second. The jab just coming under the left arm of Parr. It's a very awkward jab that Yodson Clyde does have here. There it is again. Wayne Parr's having a little trouble reading it. Needs to perhaps work off that round kick. As soon as uh, he throws the, the left round kick, Yodson Clyde maybe answer it. But I think it's the absolute power that Yodson Clyde throws those, those kicks with that uh, is just putting uh, JW on the back foot. When Parr moves in, Hammer, I've got to say, a little bit sloppy with the defences. His hands are still leaving his jaw exposed. Well, easy for us to say sitting here in the comfort uh, watching the fight. It's a lot harder to do ringside, especially when you're up against a fighter like Yodson Clay Michael. He can kick like a mule, that's obvious, and has got such a strong power base. You really have to be in centre ring and feel the power of a, of a fighter like that to know that uh, to employ some tactics sometimes. They just don't come. They just don't come that easy. Ah, Edris Ford again. This crowd rallying behind our favourite fighting son. He's the country's best after defeating Bruce McPhee last time out. 
And he's got to bring it home strongly now against Yodson Klai. Well, this is a class world level fight, this one. There is, uh, there is no shades of, uh, of anything but two of the best fighters in this weight division going toe to toe. It's a little bit of a slip there from Parr into the third round. Yodson Klai very confident. But he's worked his uh, evasive skills, Yodson Klai. They, He's, uh, he's certainly done his homework on John Wayne Parr, Yonsu Klai. And uh, there you see him catching the round kick and Parr just letting four rapid-fire punches go when his leg was caught. And uh, that was clever tactics from him, not giving Yonsu Klai any chance to a counter off the leg catch. But uh, as I was saying, Yonsu Klai has certainly done his homework on John Wayne Parr. He's sticking to his game plan and he's just loading up everything 120%. An ultimate round of action here, fourth of five. Good defense there from Parr. Well, there's got to be a bit of a sense of urgency now, Michael, from uh, John Wayne Parr. He needs to bring some points on strongly on the scorecards now. Working the knees as Parr. Cameron Quinn breaks both men. Well, looking at uh, John Wayne Parr's corner there. Richard from uh, the Boonchu uh, restaurant in uh, Broadbeach are great supporters of all the Thai boxers. And Richard uh, has got a very worried look on his face. He supported John Wayne Parr since uh, basically he came back from Thailand, Richard. And uh, the Boonchu restaurant in Broadbeach, you really have to go in there and have a look at all the memorabilia on the walls if you're into Thai boxing. It's a, it's a real icon of, uh, of Broadbeach. And uh, you just got to look at the corner of John Wayne Parr. Paul Briggs. They're just willing him to pull something special out of the bag. High left round kick, Yodson Clay. Oh, oh here it goes. Six punch combination. Yodson Clay just manages to slip out of the way of Wayne Parr's right hand. He's just got great evasive uh, work against the hand strikes of John Wayne Parr, Yodson Clay. He slips from side to slide with uh, side to side with uh, absolute precision calling Wayne Parr on now, Yonsen Klai. All tied up. Parr yeah. ah, trying to pull the head down. Cam yeah. Quinn separates them. Final stages here of the fourth round. Jab from Yonsen Klai. Cracks up that high round kick. Pokes the jab again on the schnoggin of Wayne Parr. JW fires out the front kick. Double jab round kick from JW. Nice, nice evasion, evasion beautifully JW. done. And you just get the, you just feel the power that uh, Yodson Clyde possesses. Here he comes, John Wayne Parr. But he just needs to keep on the job. He uh, got some good shots through the guard there of Yodson Clyde, and then let him off. Round kick. There is a red welt under the left arm, just to the side of the the chest of Yodson Clyde, where Wayne Parr is connected with that round kick off the rear leg. It may be a sweet spot he can hunt after. Tell you right hand! Not enough mustard to do any real damage, though. Park comes forward. Godson Clyde ties him up. Paul Briggs, you can see him there, squatting in the red corner. As I said, Wayne Park would like to just see him go for broke with the hands. Cut off the ring, bail up Yodson Clay and just try and land some big shots on the head. But uh, another great round and you just you just get the feeling that uh, Wayne Parr just hasn't recovered after that knockdown as well as uh, perhaps he could have or, or uh, we'd like to see him recover. Really willing him on now. The Aussie has had a great year, we want to see him finish it up. But uh, Yodson Clay certainly has other plans for this, uh, for this bout. Here we go, fifth and final round. Wayne Park comes out smoking. Here comes JW. This is what we want to see. Can he get that trigger happy right hand? Can he land the good night Irene? There's a lot more tenacity now. A lot more grunt about Wayne Park here in the final round. Inside thigh kick from JW. Nice combination from Yodson Klai. Step up side kick Yodson Klai, just keeping par at range. A very clever fighter this tie. Catches par with that lead jab of his. The right hand is throwing the jab and landing well. 
Wayne Parr really having trouble with his game plan in this battle. He needs a knockdown on Yods and Fly. World title stuff happening here, and he needs to uh, really bring it on strong. Get inside, throw some elbows. A distinct lack, lack of elbow shots from both fighters. Yods and Fly is renowned for being a big elbow slinger. You know what? He's changed his normal fighting style somewhat, Yods and Fly. Left the elbows out. Wayne Parr would say was a little tentative uh, to, uh, to the elbow shots earlier. It was uh, very much on the prowl against them. But uh, neither fighter loading up on the elbow strikes, which has been very surprising indeed, Michael. Well, maybe that's what's thrown Wayne Parr off here tonight, Hammer. Maybe he was expecting a more Muay Thai contest. A lot of grappling, a lot of knees and a lot of elbows. Instead, Jodson has chosen to fight this one at a distance to kick and punch Sean Wayne Parr instead of going to the grapple and try and work the knees and elbows. Well, uh, Yodson quite a fair tech fighter. Has certainly done his homework on John Wayne Parr, I'd say. They've got their boxing uh, evasive, evasive skills honed well. He's slipping the punches uh, like nothing else, working uh, his range well, and uh, just totally, I'd say, changed his fight style. And that's a mark of a fighter that at only 20 years of age has had over 200 fights. That's totally amazing. It certainly is one of the best guys I've seen fighting for a long time. They are going absolutely bananas in the red corner of John Wayne Parr, trying to spur on the Leighton Hewitt of Muay Thai. What's he got left here, JW? Has he got that one big shot? Has he got one mag left in the rifle? Oh, the big right hand. taggy right hand. Parr's going for it now, and he's got to go hell for leather. He's got to go for broke. Well, Yotsu Kloy, very clever indeed in boxing range, just tying up Wayne Parr, not letting him know it's a slip. Again. Oh, just a slip. flicking high kick from Yotsu Kloy. Dangerous as Parr dropped his right hand. Here he and comes. Here comes JW. But Yotsu Kloy once again ties him up, gets him into the grapple. When it comes into that boxing range, he shuts down John Wayne Parr. There it is, fifth and Whoa. final round. End of the fifth and final round. What a war. JW, Australia's finest. Yotsu Kloy, one of Thailand's finest. And it was a war for five rounds. Well, there you see the straight uh, right hand of Yodson Clyde just catching John Wayne Parr, the push kick, keeping him at range. Just ticked down the clock. And uh, you see Wayne Parr going bombing with the hands. And as soon as it got into danger land, Yodson Clyde tied him up. By points decision. From the blue corner, Yodson Clyde. Well, there you have it. Yodson Clyde.